today we're going to be doing some wire wheeling and uh, take a little bit of walk through here. Uh, walk around. Yeah, there's lots of spots that need to be wire wheeled. Um, overall, I'm actually impressed on how well this actually works for as, as old as it is. I mean, it's been. Yeah, there's lots. I've got to take off here. But uh, I gotta, I gotta lift up these tabs and get these rods out, and make sure everything is in good shape. But uh, yeah, I'll be. I laid down this little sheet over here so I can. How's it going? Good. Happy New Year. So yeah, I mean, it, it, there's some rest, some surface rest. Um, but I think I'll be able to get all the major stuff with no big issues, but I have to lift up these tabs and get these, these rods out so I can clean out that channel. And yeah, but I think, I think this isn't, I mean, it's, everything functions already the way it's supposed to. It's not like I'm missing pieces or except for the hooks that, um, that when you're, when you put it down. And you you can latch it to latch it down. I'm missing those. I'm also missing my assist straps. But uh, but as far as the actual functionality of the the frame, everything works. It's not stiff. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to have to take care of this. I'm gonna get some new of these. So anyway. I'm gonna start with the bottom half of things first, and then I'll do the top. We'll see. We'll see what I can get from this this angle over here when I have it open. So I'll be able to access this this area better over here, and I can I can do this this one right here. But the um, and then I can get some of these other other areas. Yeah, we'll just see what we can do. Okay, we'll do what we can from this angle because this is the easiest to do while I'm standing up without having to use anything special or removing this from everything. So, yep. So these are the assorted wire wheels I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using them on my electric drill. And uh, just the, whichever ones I can use to get the best, best results getting things off different works everything every surface is going to be a little bit different so it's going to be different things so so I'm going to be trying to get all this area right here most of it's glue it looks like but it's kind of rusty glue so it's tightened I have an angle grinder that would do a probably better job on this, but... Hey, we've been recording for 46 minutes. It's a long way to go. But I think I can be done in about another hour. We're making progress.
So again, my goal isn't necessarily to remove all of the rust. I just want to make sure that I have, because I'm going to be putting paint on this um, that converts it, but um, I just want to make sure I get all of the glue off of it so that the glue that I put on will stay. I'm trying not to go down completely to the bare metal, but it's not a bad idea. A lot of tension on this. A lot of tension. Okay. So when this goes in here, it fits in like this, but then you have to bend it to fit into this thing. And now this frees me up for doing this side. Well, I'm calling it quits for the day. I'm really tired. Um, this is New Year's Day, and I took a break during this to be with my family because we're having a, a Lord of the Rings marathon with lots of finger food, which is kind of a, a tradition where we watch movies and have, have lots of finger food around the house for New Year's. Um, but the reason why I, I did this today and not wait until tomorrow is because I thought that this section of work was going to take a lot longer than it, than it did. Um, um, I've wire-willed and it's been like, I have like 95% of the rest that I wanted to get, uh, get rid of and 100% of the leftover adhesive. Um, and I discovered that this frame is in actually really good shape mechanically and, and uh, metal-wise. Um, there's a little bit of pitting and, you know, I'm along this, this, this ridge right here, but there's nothing really I can do about that but I just want to make sure it stays protected. Um, I wanted to uh, just get as much of this ready so that, that I can wipe it down with acetone, spray paint it with some Rust-Oleum, you know, just keep it from, from rusting further and protect it. And so that when I uh, do it, uh, apply more adhesive, that it'll st it has a bit better surface to, to bond to. And uh, so, yeah, um, I, I, I don't have that, that I don't have like professional standards as far as <laughs> the rust um, and everything. It doesn't have to be absolutely pristine clean. Um, but I still, I still probably have another day's worth of, of, of you know, touch up work trying to get this, all the little nooks and crannies that I can. But, but I'm very happy with the progress I made today. Um, so yeah, um, happy new year. Thanks for watching um, and I'll see you next episode.